Well, I'm Charles Senny, and I'm a professor of biochemistry here at Oklahoma State University. A lot has happened over the last uh, 30 years, but what I'm currently doing sounds pretty interesting. It has to do with snake venoms and antivenin. And believe me, if you get bit by a poisonous snake, you would be really glad that there's antivenin available. And usually that can uh, happen at the emergency room. Of course, what, what I'm trying to do is actually study in the laboratory the binding of venoms to antivenins. Because you gotta have that binding to occur if there's gonna be any protection against lethality. So what I do is there are techniques that can separate molecules based on their size. And when you bind an antivenom and a venom, it forms big complexes. And when you form those big complexes, you can separate the big ones from the smaller ones. And this is a method it's called size exclusion chromatography. Now, where do we get the, the, um, the, the antivenom in the first place? Well, usually what people will do is they'll inject animals like sheep or horse with venom. And those horses they, or sheep, they don't die, but their bodies produce antibodies against those venom components. After a period of time, people will take the serum from those animals and isolate the antibodies that are reactive with the venoms. They process that and package it, and then they sell it as antivenom commercially. So a bunch of sheep are, are inoculated with um, four different types of venom. They, they go through the process and they cut those antibodies into little pieces that aren't as reactive to humans so that we don't, uh, we don't think that they're foreign. And hopefully by being able to study the binding in the laboratory using chromatography, we get a better handle on how well these antibodies and, and the anti-venin interact with each other, and possibly there would be a way to test initial binding before animals have to be used to determine lethality.